Hi guys, in this video, we will learn how to prepare the loan amortization schedule by using the straight line balance method. We already completed reducing balance method of loan amortization in the previous video. If you have not watched it, please watch that video by clicking on the i button. In the today's video, we will prepare the loan amortization schedule by using this method. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, okay. Now, before I start to go ahead, I would like to tell you one thing here. Under this method, that is under the straight line balance of loan amortization method, the principal payment are fixed over the period. That is, this amount will be fixed over the period. Okay, and uh, we have uh, you know some parameters of time value of money. Based on these parameters, let's provide the some random data to calculate the fixed principal payment future value and total interest amount okay so so click here and i'm going to put the value uh seventy five thousand dollar and for number of years i'm going to put three years okay and for annual rate of return i'm going to type 12 percent all right okay now for compounding method number of period and periodic interest rate we already know that how to calculate this one okay if you don't know how to calculate this one, you can watch my previous video. That is video of loan amortization schedule by using the reducing balance method. Okay. Now let's come to the fixed principal payment criteria and it can be calculated by simply dividing the total present value divided by number of periods. Okay. So press the equal to sign. Now click this one, press the divide sign from your key keyboard and click this one and now press the enter key. All right. Now for future value it can be calculated by simply you know adding the interest amount to the principal value okay so press the equal to sign and click this one plus this one and now press the enter key all right and now for total interest we will calculate after you know completing this table okay because this can be done when we will you know complete this table okay so now let's prepare the loan amortization schedule okay so first click here and now put the value zero okay and now click here and uh, put the you know present value here by you know linking the cell reference so, so press the equal to sign and now let's click this one and now let's fix this cell by pressing the f4 key and now press the enter key all right now click here and uh, put the value one okay period okay now let's select these two cell and drag down up to 1095 because we have used three years okay and when we will you know convert this year into the daily it will become 1095 okay so let's drag down okay now I scroll up and now click here and now for beginning value let's calculate it so press the equal to sign and now simply link this cell okay and now press the enter key and now click here and uh, put the pointer here and double click on the corner okay to drag the value down all right now for payment it can be calculated by simply adding the interest amount and principal amount okay so press the equal to sign and now click this one plus this one and now press the enter key and now click here and pointer here and double click on the corner okay to drag down the values all right now for interest it can be calculated by simply you know multiplying the beginning value with the periodic interest rate okay so press the equal to sign and now click this one times this one and now let's fix this you know sale by pressing the f4 key okay and now press the enter key now click here and put the pointer here and double click on the corner to drag down the value all right now for principal it can be you know we have already calculated just we will you know link the sale okay that is this one so press the equal to send and now click this one and now let's press the f of key to absolute reference okay now press the enter key and now click here and put the uh, pointer here and double click on the corner to drag down the value okay now for ending balance it can be calculated by simply you know subtracting the principal amount from the beginning balance okay so press the equal to sign and now click this one minus this one and now press the entry all right now click here and put the pointer here and double click on the corner to drag down the value all right okay and uh, scroll down and you can see loan is zero at this period okay now let's you know uh, hide these unnecessary period data that is negative value okay from this table okay 
So to hide this, you know, unnecessary period, first click here and select from here to here and press Control Shift button from your keyboard and press the down arrow, okay, to select the entire table. And now scroll up and now click on the conditional formatting under the Home tab, okay. And now click on New Rule. And now choose this one, okay. And now click here and now let's make the, you know, condition. So press the equal to sign and now press the dollar sign from your keyboard. Now let's put the, you know, alphabet G and, and put the value, you know, this one that is 5, okay. That means if this will greater than this one, then what will be the effect in our table? Yes, we want to hide, okay. So to, you know, hide the data, click on the format and choose the font tab and click on this arrow to select the color and choose you know the white okay and now click on ok and now again click on ok all right now click here and scroll down and let's see you can see our all the necessary data has been hidden okay you can see all right all right now let's calculate the total interest so click here now press the equal to send tap the sum if function now press the tab and now let's provide the information based on this argument so for range select this one from period 1 to 1095 so for this press ctrl shift button from your keyboard and now press the down arrow from your keyboard to select the entire table okay and now let's fix this range by pressing the apple key comma for crit criteria let's you know make the criteria like this so press the open quotation mark and now let's you know press the less than and equal to sign and now close the quotation mark and now let's add the end percentage here and select this one that means if our sale will you know less than or equals to this one then we will you know add the interest column okay that is this one because we are calculating in interest so for this select this one and now press ctrl shift button from your keyboard and press the down arrow to select the entire table okay and now let's fix this range by pressing the F key okay and now let's press the close parenthesis and now press the enter key all right you can see thirteen thousand eight hundred thirty five dollar okay so this is our total interest if you want to check this you can you know add up all this from period one to thirty six and you can see this value is exactly equal to this one that means our amortization schedule is correct and if you want to you know see the future value you can add up this range from here to here okay and you can see this value is exactly equal to this one all right and uh, Similarly, if you want to see the, you know, principal amount, you can add this one from here to here. You can see. All right. Now, if I, you know, select the, you know, change the compounding method from monthly to any other compounding method, the effect will be, you know, seen in this table. So, for example, I'm going to change from the monthly to annually. You can see. All right. Similarly, for semi annually, you can see. For quarterly, you can see. For monthly, you can see. For weekly, you can see, all right, and similarly for daily, you can see by scrolling down, you can see, all right, okay. So guys, we are done. We learned how to prepare the loan amortization schedule by using a straight line balance method. Okay, that's all for now. If you have any query regarding this video, please ask me in the comment box below. And if you find it useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next method of loan amortization. Signing up.